not to seek the death penalty, and they're using some baby photos to help make their case. The pictures are of Casey Anthony as a baby and are intended to sway the state from seeking the ultimate punishment against her. This is breaking news, and Mike DeForce has the photos just released only to Local 6. Mike, for the first time, we were getting an idea of possible defense strategies. Yeah, this package, Jackie, was put together by an experienced death penalty lawyer who's now working for the defense team. In it, he addresses the lead prosecutor in this case, saying, I am writing this letter to ask you not to seek the death penalty against Casey Anthony. We all know what Casey Anthony looks like now, but these are the images of Casey you've never seen. Casey is a baby. Casey playing with her brother Lee. Casey surrounded by her loving family. The defense is hoping these photographs, along with arguments made in this booklet obtained by Local 6, will convince prosecutors not to seek the death penalty against Casey. In the 30-page request, Casey's attorneys question whether the state has enough evidence to win a murder conviction, saying, quote, in this case, no one knows how death might have happened, if at all. If death did occur, the death was almost certainly a tragic accident. The defense then raises the possibility that little Kaylee may have been poisoned by chloroform, saying death may have occurred while the child was sedated or from an unwitting overdose of a sedative. Meanwhile, Casey's attorneys are trying to show prosecutors that the 22-year-old is an unlikely candidate for the death penalty. Besides her age and lack of a criminal record, Record, the defense says all evidence suggests Casey was a good, loving mother, but also a troubled one who may or may not be suffering from depression or another mental condition. The defense admits she spends money she does not have. She writes bad checks. She has multiple unstable relationships. She is participating in risky behavior, partying, and needs little sleep. That's interesting to note. This packet does not at all address the theory that little Kaylee was kidnapped by her babysitter. But we need to point out, this is not necessarily going to be the defense's strategy when they go to trial. The purpose of this is strictly to try to get the death penalty off the table. In essence, basically, the defense is putting the prosecution on notice that if they do seek the death penalty, they are going to try everything to try to get that thrown out by a judge. And these are just some of the possible options for them. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Tavoris, Local 6. Meanwhile, Casey Anthony's check fraud case was scheduled to go to trial just two weeks from now, but today her attorney asked the judge to delay the theft case until after Casey goes on trial for murder. In addition to killing her daughter, prosecutors say that Casey stole more than $1,300 from her best friend using stolen checks to ring up purchases all over town. That crime alone could land Casey in prison for up to 65 years. But today, Jose Baez asked the judge to postpone the check fraud trial. Besides giving him more time to concentrate on the murder case, Baez says the delay could potentially save the court time and money, depending on the murder trial's outcome. I think it makes absolutely no sense to try the check charges before the first-degree murder charge. Um, it, it, it would be a foolish thing to do. There's no benefit to it. And today the judge agreed to a routine delay, so the check fraud case will not go to trial until at least January.